Um, and so today is our family service, and it's just a, a time where we can just celebrate the kids a bit. Um, me and Beck have been working with kids uh, this past term on Sunday mornings, and um, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, so we just wanted to be able to do something a bit more fun this morning and just appreciate uh, the kids and thank God for them. So um, so Beck's, Beck's over there. But let's start by singing a carol, because we can. Yeah. So every, every, please stand, and over to you, Ken. All right, it's been a long time. So we've been doing some music by ourselves, not half as much fun without you folks, but we get to enjoy it today. So are we ready to sing? I said, are we ready to sing? And who are we going to sing to? <laughs> who are we going to sing to? Jesus. Jesus, you got it. Hit it, Bill. <laughs> So everyone can sit back down, and uh, we our, our message today is a little bit different. 
and we have we have a special guest. So, uh, if you are a kid or a child, it's probably a good idea if you come and sit down the front. Hey, no, no, look, no, you can be a big kid as well. That's fine. Come on down. Come on. Ah, it's really good. Hey kids, how you going? Come on, you going good? I'm good, thank you very much. All right, so let me introduce you to Barb and and she's going to kick us off this morning. Thanks, Dee. Good morning, everyone. I have a very special guest this morning. He's a friend of mine and his name is Wally. But I have a bit of a problem. I can't find Wally anywhere. He's really hard to find. I wonder if you can all help me. If you can all say with me, where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Surprise! There you are, Wally. I'm so glad you could make it today. How are you going? Oh, I'm excited. Oh, boy. Hello, boys and girls. How are you today? Are you excited like I'm excited? I'm excited. What are you so excited about, Wally? Five sleeps. Just five sleeps. Five sleeps? What do you mean, five sleeps? Five sleeps until Christmas, silly. Oh, of course, five sleeps. Now I get it. Hey, what about we have a toast, you know, because it's nearly Christmas. A toast? I love toast. Can I have poached eggs on my toast? <laughs> no, not that type of toast. I mean a celebration toast because it's Christmas. Oh, okay. We, we propose, propose a toast, toast because in celebration of, of Christmas. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, I've got a toast. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, I love apple cider. Glug, 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 glug. What would you like for Christmas, Wally? Well, my friend Freddie already gave me a present and I opened it early because he's going away for the holidays. Oh, what did you get? Those shorts there. You should hold them up for me. Check them out. I Check bet them you, out. I, I bet you don't have a pair of shorts like these. No, but neither would anyone else. They even come with a volume control because they're so loud. Oh, who am I trying to kid about being excited because Christmas is coming? I'm sad. Sad? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Wally, why are you so sad? My friend Freddie is going away for the holidays and I won't have anyone to play with. Hmm, I can see the problem. Oh, I'm sad. I, I feel lost. I, I feel alone. <laughs> oh, Wally, you know, you know, there was a person in the Bible named Job and he lost so much that he was sad and he felt alone too. You mean he was he was he, he was sad like like me? Uh-huh. So so what happened to him? Well, let's listen to what Steve has to say about it. Well, Job was a guy that lived a long 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 time ago and he was sad too because in his life everything was going really really good and then all of a sudden everything was going really 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 bad. So do you know what that, what that feels like sometimes? Put your hand up if you know what that feels like sometimes. Yeah, that's right. So, but even though Job didn't understand why everything was going so bad, um, he said something quite amazing. And I have a helper this morning that's going to tell us what he said. Are you ready, Riley? Come on up. Yeah, good on you, Riley. Okay, so this is what Job said. I know my defender lives, and I will see him stand on the earth. I know my defender lives, and I'll see him stand on the earth. Which is, a, oh, thank you, you can sit back down. Yeah. Which is, which is an amazing thing to say, because what he's saying is that Job has hope that someday someone special is going to come. And that person will stand up for Job. Actually, will stand up for everybody. 
and will have the power to make things right. So Job had hope, a bit like us. If, if you've hung around salt, you know that we are people of hope. And so Job knew that with God, there's always hope. So that's the story of Job. How are you feeling now, Wally, after you know what Steve said? I feel a little bit better, but to be honest, I, I still feel sad. Tell you what. What? Let's play a game. That might cheer you up. A game? Oh, a game? Oh, boy, I love games. What's the game? Well, I'll give a quote from a famous movie, uh-huh. and, if, and if you or the children or anyone else can guess the name of the movie, you or they will win. Win what? What, 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 what can I win? What? What? What will I win? Chocolate. Woo-hoo! Chocolate. I love chocolate. Give me chocolate. Give me, give me, give me, give me. <laughs> Hang on, Wally. You need to guess the movie first. Now, Wally and boys and girls, if you want, if you want to have a go, don't call out. You have to put your hand up and wait till you're asked. Do you understand, Wally? Oh, yeah, I think so. Like uh, you would say, like um, "Hasta la vista, baby. I'll be back." <laughs> And I go, oh, 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 pick me, pick me, pick me. And you go, yes, Wally. And I go, Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And you go, yeah, Wally, you win chocolate. And I go, woo, woo, chocolate, give me chocolate. Yes, that's how you do it. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm going to win chocolate. Woo. All right. I guess Wally's ready. Okay. Our first quote from the, the our quote from the first movie can you keep a secret, my monochromatic friend? We're going to Antarctica. Antarctica? Antarctica. You didn't see anything. Oh, 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 pick me, pick me, pick me. Yes, Wally. The Avengers. No, not the Avengers, Wally. Bambi? No. Boys and girls. Oh, I've got a hand up here. What movie do you think it was? Oh. Madagascar, you're right. Guess what? You win chocolate. I love that movie, King Julian, it's so cool. How long is this going to take? Has yeah. anybody else got to eebie-jeebies? Yeah, it's a great movie, isn't it, Wally? <laughs> All right, now for our next movie. So, are you ready for a quote from our next movie, Wally? Sure am. This time I'm definitely winning chocolate, boys and girls, not you. It's about me this time. No, my gumdrop buttons. Oh, 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 pick me, pick me, pick me. Yes, Wally. Gone with the wind. No. The little mermaid. No. No, my gumdrop buttons. Oh. I might have to give the boys and girls a clue. I'll have to let them try first. Okay, boys and girls. There's a talking donkey. And, oh, there's a hand up. Yes, Shrek. That's right. Well done. <laughs> Sorry, Beck. We had to let the kids go first. I love that movie. Your donkey can talk. Yeah, but the real trick is getting him to shut up. <sighs> oh, well done. Well done, Wally. Okay. Thanks, everyone. And well done, our person who guessed. Are you feeling better now, Wally? Oh, yeah. I, 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 but I'm still a bit sad. Okay, how about one more go at this game and let's see if you can win some chocolate this time. Cool. Here we go. We're going to fight your uncle for this. Talk about your fixer-uppers. Hey, what do you want us to do? Dress in drag and do the hula? Oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. I, I, I got it, I got it. Okay. The yes, Lion Wally. King. Yes, that's it, Oh, Wally. give me chocolate, give me chocolate, give me chocolate. <laughs> Caramello. <laughs> All right, Wally, I hope you're feeling better now. Oh, the game is great and I love chocolate. But Freddie may never come home. Oh, uh, well, you know what? Well, the prophet Isaiah in the Bible was sad because God's people, the Israelites, were taken from their homes and forced to live somewhere else. They were worried and anxious that they might never come home. That's true. And Isaiah was upset. 
he lived a long, long time ago as well. But he was upset because his people had to move and they didn't want to move. They want to, they want to live somewhere in another country. And so, um, so yeah, he was upset. But what was even worse, worse than that is his people no longer was trusting God. They, they thought that God had forgotten about them. They thought that God wasn't going to help them. And so Isaiah said something really interesting. He wanted to remind his people what God was like. So my friend Riley, come up and, and tell us what Isaiah said. Woo! Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! For, un- for unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and he shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Prince of Peace, and Mighty God. Nice work. So Isaiah, just like Job, was waiting for someone special to come. And what he said is that someone special would come as a baby and would grow up to lead the Israelites, God's people, and that that he would bring peace. And he would have the power to make things right between God and his people. So yeah, Isaiah was a man of hope too and knew that there's always hope with God. All right, Wally, Isaiah was pointing to Jesus. Hope came into the world when Jesus was born. And the story of Jesus' birth is nothing short of miraculous. Let me tell you a bit about it. Just before Jesus was born, Joseph took Mary to Bethlehem on the back of a... Harley Davidson? (laughs) No. Give me me chocolate, give me chocolate. (laughs) No, she wasn't on the back of a Harley. And you don't get chocolate this time. I'm telling a story. Joseph took Mary to Bethlehem on the back of a... Mountain bike. No, on a donkey. And Jesus was born in a... Maternity ward? No, in a stable. And he was born to Mary, who was a... A woman? Yes, but she was also a virgin. And in the stable where the manger was... There were doctors and nurses and beds and all lots of stuff. I in the intensive care unit, defibrillators and drips. It was everywhere. Well, no, actually, there were animals and shepherds. And the shepherds actually came to worship baby Jesus. And outside was a bright street light. And no, an angel. And the angel directed the shepherds to the stable in Bethlehem. And when they saw him, they... They all said, look at the cute little baby. Coochie, 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 coo. No, they actually worshipped the baby Jesus. And then they went out and told everyone about him, that he is the saviour of the world. So we don't need to feel alone because God is always with us. That's the story of Christmas? That's it. That is such a cool story. We don't need to be sad after all because with God, we have hope for our future, and I don't need to be. I don't need to worry about Freddie being away. I, but maybe on my own. Yes, Wally. Cool, cool. It's a really good story. Hey, the story of Christmas. I remember when I was uh, your age. Well, that was a long time ago. But I remember how my mum would have decorations of like the main, the manger, and 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 who's this? Mary and Joseph, and that's not Shrek. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. Uh, and I, I remember, I remember my mum having decorations like this up and thinking it was a really pretty story. But what's really, really important is remember is remembering what it actually means. Why is it important to remember this story? Well. Because there were so, so many people in history, thousands and thousands of years ago, that were waiting for someone special to come, that were waiting for hope. And so this little picture represents that time when hope finally comes, when someone finally comes that that brings peace to God's people and forgiveness to God's people. And that's why it's, it's so important. But you know what? It's not just a Christmas story or a Bible story. Whose story is it? It's a hard question. Uh, That's a good question. That's a good answer this time, Ashley. (laughs) She said, it's our story. And it is our story. You know, it's it was just it's our story in our history. We're just a few thousand years down the road. And that's why it's so important, because this was the turning point. This was the time when 
um, light finally overcame darkness, where uh, the where hope came to God's people, and so that now we can walk in compassion and peace and know that we're forgiven. It's a it's important. So, how about we all stand up, just just where we are, and stand up just to remember that for all of us and for this salt this salt community and everyone that we we come in contact with the, the people that we help the people that we hang out with the kids that we hang out with um, we're all a part of this story it's 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 our story and everywhere we go we we carry that hope and that peace and uh, there is always always hope with who with Jesus and walking with him that's right is that any is that is that okay Wally oh yeah that's a cool that's really cool you, you feel any, you feel any better I feel much better thank you <laughs> thank you Jesus give Wally a clap and and give Riley a clap Woo-hoo! put on Riley Woo! okay you can sit back down again now. Okay, so we thought we'd better sing some more Christmas songs, and we chose some kid ones, um, and I think Beck's going to help us sing those. <laughs> hey, but you um, all got to stand up, and so everyone needs to stand up again after you just sat down. I know, stand up, and you got to give it a shake out. you got to shake it out a bit, because... Trying to kill that mic. Um, one of the best things about kids, there's a, there's a whole heap of great things about you guys as kids, but one of the best things is, is that kids live in the moment. You're right here, right now. You're not really thinking about what you're going to have for dinner. You're not going to think, you're not thinking, unless you're starving. Um, but kids are right here in the moment right now. So you might go, uh, actions are so daggy, but we're going to just be in the moment. We're not going to care who's around us. God also calls us to be like children. And because they're in the moment, so he's calling us to be in the moment, to connect with him. So I'm going to lead you in some of the actions. The first song we're going to do is called Come On, Ring Those Bells. So Steve's going to hold the mic and I'm going to show you. Yes. 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 Shame on you, Bill. Four bars of jeans. Thank you. 
keep two. I can't do this. And... Oh, sorry, Wally. Wally's going to do the actions too. <laughs> okay. have two chocolates left for good air guitars. And if you don't feel like playing the guitar, you could probably play the trumpet or the trombone or the harp, I don't know, whatever you choose. Go, we're ready. This is a good clapping one too. Oh, 
You did a very good job. You guys did a good job too. Wally's still there. He's such a show off. Okay, so um, just a few more minutes in, in the short time that's left. Uh, Beck and I, we just wanted to pray for the kids. They're already at the front. But uh, it's just an invitation for you guys, uh, maybe parents or friends, uh, just come up and um, we just want to thank God that they've been with us uh, this year and um, we're really excited about what's uh, happening next year and uh, the good times we'll have with them. And so we just want to bless them and pray they have a really good end of year break. And uh, so kids, how about you stand up? And if you'd like to, you, you can come down the front as well. Maybe the, um, the little ones can bring, be brought over with their parents too because it's really important. Or their pseudo-parents. All right, so um, should we pass the mic around as we do it or not? No, no. Will that other people will pray too? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pray and then um, and then maybe a few others might want to pray and then maybe Beck can finish off, yeah? yeah? Cool. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for these kids. It's been such a great time with them uh, this year in this term. Um, and we just appreciate them and all the all the, the gifts you give them and their their great personalities, the things that they love, um, uh, and the good times that we've had. It's just been so good. Um, we just want to ask that, that you give them really great end of year, that you protect them over the holiday break, 
that um, protect families and friends. And um, yeah, we just, we just say thank you for them. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> God, thanks heaps for these kids. Thanks that you see them and that you know them. Thank you, Father God, for the parents that parent them. Father God, thank you for the kids that are close by and that are far away. Thank you that you are the perfect father. You're the perfect teacher. I pray that you'll empower um, our mums and dads here to be able to parent from a Holy Spirit perspective. Father God, I thank you for what you have spoken into each one of these kids' lives, that you give them life, you give them breath, you give them hope, you give them a future, and that whatever comes into their lives, Father God, you are the answer. Uh, we thank you for who you are, Jesus, and we thank you for each one of these kids, how uniquely, beautifully, wonderfully, marvelously made they've been. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Now, uh, today I have an, an announcement, and it's the perfect day to make this announcement, and that is that Renee has given birth to a son. And the name is Harley. Yeah. And I hear she's doing okay. So is, isn't that awesome, eh? That's really great. Actually, let me just pray for Renee as well, and then, um, and then we'll finish up. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for Renee and for Zoe, and uh, I thank you that, they, that Zoe has a new brother, and we just thank you um, for this, this, this great arrival. Um, we just look forward to seeing him, and we pray for protection and health uh, for mum as well. So thank you for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.